What's going on, everybody? All right, it's uh, Wednesday. It's been a while. Uh, I was going to do a, a video last week, but I put my truck in the shop on a Friday night uh, to, to get a PM done for uh, Monday morning and get a DOT inspection done on it. Well, I called them Monday, asked them, you know, the progress because it should have been done. And then they said I had a problem. So they had to order some parts and uh, took the whole week. So I was off for about nine days. So I come back out Monday and uh, I did one load Monday, I did two on uh, Tuesday, a couple Wednesday. Uh, I got two tomorrow, two on Friday. And I'm looking for a Saturday load. And then, you know, that's the good thing about over here. You know, if, if you got a whole week off like that downtime for your truck being in the shop, you have the opportunity to, uh, you know, di you dispatch yourself. So if you can fit in, you know, some stay busy, uh, utilize 100% of your time or close to it, uh, you can make that week up pretty quick. So what I try to do is make it up in the, in the you know, three weeks. So if you like to make X amount of dollars, just divide it into three weeks. For instance, you know, if you, if you want to make uh a two thousand dollar paycheck and you didn't make two thousand that week well if you do four weeks an extra day each week make 500 bucks that day you get it in a month you got it done and uh and you still get a little home time uh you know if you can do it three weeks that's great if you can do it two weeks it's even better so i just you know that's what i do i just span it out over a little short uh, course of time and and i make up for it and that's the good thing about the program uh I've been going through a lot of emails since I've been back out. I've been getting a hold of some people. I've been talking to you know two to four people every night when I stop. And since I'm working long hours, uh, you know, playing catch up here and doing a you know two two loads a day or trying to do three if I can. I get stopped later in the evening, so I only got time to talk to one two people maybe. I fit I think four in today, you know tonight. So. Uh, of course they didn't talk very long which made it easier but we talked about trucks you know we talked about uh, this program we talked about other programs from other carriers and you know that, that's good people look around you know you got to be you got to get the information and you know if you're gonna be a business person and not just a truck driver if you're gonna be a, and, and treat it like a business be a business person you need to get all the information you can and you try to get it from reliable sources that way you can make you know a real good decision and uh, because you know it's all about your livelihood and stuff so uh, it's good to get all the information you can and then and before you jump from one place to another place because sometimes the grass isn't green or somewhere else because you might you know that person might be looking for something different you know um, that maybe that place doesn't offer so you know it's not all about the money all the time uh, you got to have an equal balance as I tell people of home time and money uh, if you have more of one and not of the other it, it just usually doesn't work very well so you got to find that company that will give you uh, that meets most of your needs to where you're happy because if you're happy you know you're gonna stay there and uh, everybody benefits from that because you know when, when there's turnover uh, it costs the company and it costs you know the, the independent contractor because when you know they got to leave and go somewhere else you lose that revenue between the switching time you know you're gonna lose two weeks probably uh, or more and uh, you know, it's costly and then the company you leave either they're down a truck so you know they're getting freight that's not being moved and it costs them so it costs everybody so you know you want to have a good working relationship all right, so, you know, everybody email me. I'm going through the emails. I'm trying to get to everybody. Um, you know, if I haven't got back with you, send me another email. I'll put another link below in the description below, a different email address, just in case um, your email went to the junk folder and I go through it, try to pick it out. But, you know, I'm not gonna open every one because I don't wanna get a virus. Um, so if I can't tell it's from a driver, I just don't open it. So I'll put a different email address down below and send me another one. Uh, 
but I got a long list of emails that I go through and it takes me a while because when I was home for the week, uh, I was with the family, I was doing a lot of stuff at the house, so I really didn't have time to, you know, get a hold of people. I didn't have time to do a video uh, because I had a lot of stuff that I had to get done. And uh, I just worked from sun up till sundown, you know. So, all right. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're back out here, and uh, we're rolling. So if you you see me, we we'll wave at each other. Uh, if you get a hold of me on, you know, if you're one of my friends on Facebook or whatever, and we cross paths, you know, have lunch or dinner or something, and uh, talk talk whatever we want to talk about. But I had some really good conversations today with some drivers. Uh, talk to some teams uh, that want to switch over and you know we went through numbers and and things like that to show them you know uh, if they want to get a truck from the outside or get it from SFI we went through the numbers and you know they do make it easy you know there's a lot of people that say they'll never do a lease purchase and there's people say you know buying is the only way or paying cash is the only way for a used truck well i've already went through all that in the videos um they do make it nice for the fact that <clears throat> you know they take the payment out they got you a maintenance account set up um it's pretty turnkey uh when you just start a business uh you know so it kind of helps you learn how to save money for the repairs down the road and that's where people get in trouble right you can go out and buy a new truck that's that's no problem you know you go out and buy a new truck from a dealership and here's what happens they get out there and they're making the money they got the warranty so there is really nothing to save for except for uh tires maybe a set of steer tires one year or every year and a half depending on the miles you put on it and the drive tires usually last you four or five hundred thousand miles so you can go four or five years without drive tires. And so all you're doing is paying for oil changes, you know, if you got the extended warranties. Well, what happens is the people get this money and they spend it and buy things and they don't save. And then when that warranty's off, guess what happens? That truck breaks. And the next thing you know, they put it on a credit card and then they put it on another credit card. Then it breaks again and then they go get a loan. And before they know it, they got huge credit card debt and they're only one more breakdown away from being out of business. So the way they have it set up, they take money out each week, put it in the maintenance account for you, you know, to help you maintain the truck. And so that way, when it comes off a of warranty, you have a substantial amount of money there in case your turbo goes out, your injectors go out, um, you have a catastrophic failure of the motor, the money's there to fix that. And then that gives you time to rebuild it back up. So, uh, you know, it does teach you good, you know, saving uh, for the rainy day type of thing. And, you know, and you look at the bright side. If it never happens to you where you never have that big breakdown, and you trade trucks off every three years to five years, uh, you just, you know, you got a nice, nice uh, nest egg there starting up, you know. So anyway, if, I, uh, if you haven't heard from me and you send me something, send me another email on that link and uh we'll do some more videos we'll have them coming out a lot more frequent um i'm gonna try to at least do one to two a week and cover a whole range of, of different topics so now uh, we'll see y'all later everybody be safe out there see you